Anyway, good morning. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. It's 9.46, the 20th of October. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, I just pulled over here to do a little short video. Um, they got, like, this bank in, in front of right now. They got the huge posters on their doors. When you walk in there, it's telling you, you better have your mask on unless you have proof. Okay? And, uh... I just watched somebody walking in without the mask. I'm thinking, wow, you know, there they go. They've got the mark, the they got the number, or they got the name of the beast. See, that's what they're giving out first: the name or the number, and then the uh, the mark on the right hand or the forehead. That'll be later, or it'll be with everybody that's already taken it, um, because. Uh, they're going to need it to go into the stores. The doors, to open up doors. Um, you've already got it. You've already received it. The only thing is, is you can't go in the stores. You know, that's what's going to happen. Because <clears throat> they got cameras now, man, where you walk up to the door and it'll scan you and it'll open up for you. To be able to pay for everything. Maybe. I mean, I'm sure even the poor people here that do take it. Remember, he says he, he causes them, those that are bond and uh, free. Free and bond. Anyhow. It doesn't get any more uh, clear. Guys, we can clearly see uh, those cargo ships. You ain't gonna get those out at sea if you can do this again, you know. And then you look at the Georgia Guidestones. It clearly talks about their plan. Okay, now you got all these people out there all around the sea, all around the world, cargo ship. Because everybody, see, they reduce your shelving, they reduce your lifestyle, and everybody's going, man, I hope they do this, I hope they do that. Well, you got a Trojan horse sitting out there. It's what you got all around everybody with those container vessels. And uh, that's probably how it's going to hit everybody. Because, read, listen, read the Georgia Guidestones. They look at the human population as if it's a uh, cancer on the earth. And it's in every language, ten languages. Okay? And it's sitting here and it's put in by secret society. Okay? Kennedy warned America about secret societies, and it probably wasn't long after Kennedy's death that they put those in, talking about that. 60, they've been there 41 years, died in 60. So 60 to 2000, that's 40, yeah, been there a while, you know. Games are over, you guys. Anyhow, all those who repent, call on the Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior, and they believe in their heart that he died and raised, and then stop the sinning. Because Scripture is clear. It says God wants obedience. Um, obedience. Rather than sacrifice, you know. He wants us to be in obedience. Obedience means... Stop sinning. Why were they constantly sacrificing, sacrificing for sins? Okay, God wants you to stop. He's at it. You know? What does Jeremiah say about, you know, shedding innocent blood all the time? Constantly shedding innocent blood because you're living like a sinner. You know, you don't have to. You are whom you obey. Whether it's sin into death or God into obedience. It's not, it's all clear. Anyhow, um, I got to take this car back sometime today. I'm getting the other one fixed. Thermostat is going out on it, and the housing also is bad. But, uh, yeah. One thing to another. The computer went out the other day. 
and uh, laptop when it went just stopped working and uh, then this thing here the CD drive stopped working and now I got it where it should be working I can unload the video now yeah you guys I want out of this place so bad. Want out of here really bad, you guys. I know you do too. But you guys, it doesn't get any clearer. You know, it doesn't take any guesswork either. Got a couple of pamphlets. I'm going to put them in the, uh, where they're working on the vehicle. I'm going to put it over there on their tables. They're both, um, his father that owns the shop, he's big time into Revelation. I witnessed with him, and uh, he received everything really good. And he said he ain't, he ain't letting them touch him. I witnessed with a, uh, uh, the sergeant and a lieutenant at one of the police stations over here. And uh, he said he ain't letting them touch him either. His dad's the uh, head of the police department, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they're not doing it. You know, we're right at the edge of it, you guys. I told them, I said, look, this is going to explode. It's going to get so bad. Um, you're not going to be able to do anything. I said, you just, he said he doesn't carry his gun to the church. And I was glad to hear that. And he mentioned how, you know, because of what they heard on the news. And I said, it's all a lie. It's all a stage by Hollywood. And our government, they put it on the news to get the churches to do what the Bible says. Without faith, you can't please God. So when they start carrying guns, guess what? They got at their whole congregation is believing it. I said, Charles Lawson's church once. I didn't ask him. They just came out and told me. We got at least five guys in here at all time with guns. Wow. You know? You guys, I'm going to tell you, when the Holy Spirit's working in you, the Spirit of God, it says this to them, the Spirit of the world and the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God is working in you, you're going to discern those that are liars and deceivers out there. You're going to discern right through it. You'll hear through it. <clears throat> but you can't be of the world. You don't want to be doing what they're doing. Okay, a lot of churches are carrying guns. They're going with the flow. You don't want to be doing what they're doing. Last night, um, I had a couple of dreams, and uh, one of them, you know, I'll share them. You know, one of them was like a an Egyptian, like a queen or something, and uh, she had gold going over her head like this. Like, you know, like, like they would wear their, their head ornaments or whatever. Well, she had gold going over her head like this. And then she had gold going around it. Like it was a little going over this way. Then this was going over it. But anyhow, it was like she was coming after me. And then another uh, individual came up and put his hand like right there around by her neck. But didn't touch her. And was constantly pushing it backwards, backwards, up some stairs, backwards. And then, you know, like, you know, like they were like being subdued. And, uh, but she was, uh, I wasn't looking closely, but she wasn't dressed properly. I'll put it that way. And, uh, but she was definitely being pulled away from me, which I liked. And then... I had another dream where um, I was talking to somebody. They were in an attic. Like there was a door, and I could see the light all around it. Like the light was up in the attic. I was talking to him, and I was like, you know, why don't you open it up and come down in here? And then I looked down around me, and there was like two toilets. A toilet here and a toilet here, right in the same room that I was in. And then it was like, uh, I went and I went, oh, they didn't flush the toilet. I went to go flush it, and even the handle was nasty. 
dirty. And I went to flush it, and uh, it started backing up, like overflowing, and it was just nasty, filthy. And I was thinking, I gotta get out of this room. And when it was filthy, it was like everywhere. <laughs> so for me, I think that's like telling me, you know, I need to like get into more fasting. Telling me I need to do some more fasting. Guys, yeah, I think we're at this point. Look at where the ships are out at sea and everything. Things are getting, uh, they're right there ready to start happening. This isn't going to get, um, it's not going to get better. The store shelves are depleting. And people are hoping those ships out there got what they want here. It's like that everywhere, all around the world. So, imagine a Trojan horse. They wanted to set you up. That's why I was talking about the Georgia Guidestones. But it talks about their agenda, which is to depopulate a lot of the world. So they got everything out in position now. They got their Trojan horse out at sea. Okay? They got fuel tanks all around everywhere, all throughout the sea. When they do their thing, when they attack in every nation, their government is all part of it. They're one world order. They're all part of it. They're working against the people. Read the Georgia Guidestones, man. They got one plan. Okay? But if you also read the Bible, the Bible clearly tells you that's what God's going to do. Why? Because they're sinners and they're godless. Okay? If you, then it says they have faith. Your faith is what's going to save you through Christ. Okay? If you don't have your faith in Christ right now, knowing what's about to happen, uh, we ain't going to have a spirit of fear in this, man. And we know why he's doing it. Because in the beginning, when he first came here, he came for sinners and ungodly, to turn them from darkness to light. And he said to follow me. You guys, clearly we can see we were all following this, just trying to get through it. And uh, there's no more excuses. The time of ignorance is over. Satan is the prince of this world. Everybody's been uh, this. You know, and this is over. You know, if we would have been following Christ, we wouldn't have corporations and chains. And here in America, we wouldn't have killed all these Indians and stole their land. We wouldn't have booze and alcohol. We wouldn't have legal prostitution in Vegas and all that stuff. Who knows what's going on? It's everywhere. Gambling. That's, man, that's all of the devil. Anyhow, the stage is set up. Everybody's been made to think what they want you to think. Oh, that's all your stuff. Those are your Christmas toys. That's what you're doing. You came unloaded for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. One lie after another, man. If you're watching the news, they're gonna, they're gonna, that's what they're doing. They've indoctrinated you from childhood to now. You know, they get you out of your schools, they're sitting in your living room watching the news, believing everything they tell you. Well, it's all been a lie. If you would have read the Bible and believed it, everything Christ said, man, Satan's a liar. The father of it. Look around. This is what this is. It's all a big lie. The truth is in the Word of God. That's why it says we should have been like this with the Word of God. Seven days a week. We should have been like this in the school. Teaching our children the Word of God. All thing we needed to teach them was how to read and write. We didn't need to teach them all this other garbage. You know, people knew how to do some carpentry work. Uh... This is bad, you guys. You know, this technology. That's why I said if those are, God makes your enemies be at peace with you. You've never had peace here. You know, when your ways please Him, people don't believe it. This is over here. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm glad. You know, this is a horrible place to raise and bring up children. Even. It's, it's filthy. It's polluted. It's 
nasty is. You know, it's a good picture of what I've seen those toilets. Went to flush it and it's all like eh. that. That's how I feel about this whole world. It's nasty. It's filthy. It's unclean. So I'm gonna probably fast anyhow. You know. Still in a filthy place. They're gonna hurt me. It'll probably do me a world of good. Yeah, I've done a little bit here and there, 24 hours, you know. But uh, what a place, you guys. I just wanted to share those dreams with you guys, to let you know. But God, this place is filthy. It's unclean. You know, we can't do what they're doing. The best advice I can give anybody, man, is to stay into the Word of God, confess your sins, and to the Lord, repent of them, and stop it. And to stop it, that means you're going to have to stop going around the, the things that are of the world. You're going to have to stop going with the flow. You know? If you see every day you're still going with the flow, well, we'll see how that weathers out. You know? But everything is in its place. Everything's ready to happen. And uh, trust in the Lord. Okay? When it all starts falling down, blowing up around you, just sit back and praise God. And praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You know? That it's all righteous what he's doing. When it's all said and done, you're going to see just how filthy this place was and how evil it was. You know? They're godless people. You know, I was talking to Cynthia this morning. I told her, I said, you know, here we are, we're this close. We see how close we are. The ship's out at sea. What's getting ready to happen? When I connect the George Guidestones with it, boy, it makes perfect sense. Wake up put that up the other day with those ship containers. It makes perfect sense. And uh, with George Guidestones and that, yeah. When you get everybody depleted when things are missing here, people just want it to get back to normal. Well, it's not going to, and they're going to do what it says. God puts it in their hearts to hate the whore. You know, maybe that was the whore. The Egyptian. That I see in my dream last night. And she was like, not dressed properly. You know. A whore. You know, in America we got the Egyptian thing on the one dollar bill. You know, this place is Babylon, it's Egypt, it's all wrapped up into one, man. And everybody desired it, wanted it, what we had here. And it was filthy and evil. You know, people didn't care as long as they got what they wanted. They lived it. Anyhow. You know. Alright, you guys. God bless everybody. Just touching bases with everybody. God bless you all. Remember, don't we ain't going with the flow. You know, this place is filthy. Touch not the unclean thing. Be separate. And I will receive you. God bless you guys. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.